So, the Forgotten DLC. Now, it probably wouldn't take you guys by surprise if I said that I was talking about China Rising. So, Bellevue 4 came out on the 1st of November for Europe, and China Rising came out on the 3rd of December for premium members, which is very quickly after launch. So in this expansion pack we have lots of different environments. We've got a jungle, a mountain environment and even a desert environment. So it doesn't lag in the map design or at least that is my opinion. But why is it then that China Rising is so forgotten and almost no one is playing this DLC? So the first reason why I think it is forgotten uh, is because I think that there was almost no hype for it. At least for me the DLC came a little bit out of the blue. If we compare the launch of China Rising to the launch of Naval Strike, then there's such a difference between those launches. I mean, for Naval Strike there was a lot of hype built up, um, a lot of video speculation going around, and for China Rising there wasn't just such a thing on YouTube. Which for me is kind of a shame, because I have a lot of trouble finding servers that are populated and that are running the China Rising maps. I mean, for example, the map that you're seeing right now, which is Altai Range on Rush, is a really good Rush map. Some of you guys might not agree with me, uh, because I know that there are lots of people out here that think that there is a bad Rush map, but after you get past the first set of MCOMs, I really, really do enjoy playing with this. And especially with a sniper, I think it is such a good build map. Now, the two gadgets that were added in this DLC are the UKEV and the SUAV. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I never see anyone use those anymore. But yeah, sure, at the beginning, when China Rising just launched, you saw everyone using the SUAV and the UKEV, but that was just the first couple of weeks. Now, almost no one uses them anymore. Now, another thing that came with the China Rising DLC was the game mode Air Superiority, which is also a game mode that almost no one plays. I mean, I have a lots and lots of trouble finding a server. I wanted to get some air superiority gameplay for you guys, but there was just no server, or there were just, I believe there were two servers with one person in it, so it was pretty much impossible to join such a server. Now, I think I can safely say then that this DLC has flopped a little bit. Now, this then again brings me to my next point of this commentary, and that is, should DLCs be free for Battlefield? Now, of course, you guys are gonna say, oh, yes, because, well, of course, who doesn't like free stuff? But, um, we're gonna get a little bit deeper into that than just saying that free stuff is good. So, the first advantage that you'll have when a DLC is free is that everyone is gonna have that DLC, meaning that there'll be a lot more servers populated with these maps. Now, a bad point for the free DLCs is that a lot of people already have bought premium, meaning that they have bought all the DLCs at once. So it isn't really fair if DICE decided to release the last two DLCs for free, which I personally don't think is gonna happen. This is just all my thoughts. Now, another argument for the free DLCs is that it would give DICE a better reputation, because we all know that Battlefield 4 had a rocky launch and that the reputation of DICE has been damaged because of that. So I definitely think that giving a free DLC would restore a little bit of that reputation that they have lost with the launch of Battlefield 4. Now all these free DLC things really sound good, but it is very unlikely that it's going to happen. So therefore I've got one more idea. So what if the people that haven't bought premium and haven't bought one of the DLCs would get one map plus one weapon per DLC for free? That way they could try the DLC some sort of before buying it. I mean, now if people aren't really sure whether or not they should buy the DLC, they could at least try a little portion of the DLC and kind of see if they think it is worth their money. Now if this were to happen, I think that we could fill up a lot more of the servers that are running the DLC map rotations and kind of populating it a little bit more. But the video is coming to an end right now and if you have your own thoughts about this whole free DLC and China Rising DLC thing, then please feel free to leave that in the comments. But um, anyways, this was Hyper, and I thank you all for watching.